Oh, uh, the game I've been waiting to show you guys for a, a long, long time. <laughs> Here we are. Tokyo Dark Remembrance. Hold on, let me change the game category. Oop. Tokyo Dark, yes. Here we go. Let me look at the stream real quick. I've uh, added a goal, like a streamer goal, like a follower goal on there. I don't know if it's uh, if it's there. Alrighty, let's just uh, get the show on the road now, shall we? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Now I have played this game a multiple, multi multitude of times. Not multiple. Yeah, just I played this game a lot. I just wanted to show you, the, uh, show you guys this game. It's been very, uh, I don't know, I'm just stoked. I'm, I'm very stoked <laughs> to show you guys this. Oh, there we go. Yes, this is um. Like one of those games, like a Telltale game, like The Walking Dead, in that regard. A lot of choices have a deeper meaning. Sussy Baka! When I close my eyes, she's always there. Smiling. Always smiling. Mm. <laughs> Not so gangster. Hmm. Kazuki. What's your badge doing in a place like this? Well, what the fuck dropped it out, didn't he? Where are you? Hi. Mm hmm. Monsieur Yukimura. With his mustache and all. Fucking. <laughs> I haven't seen that mustache in weeks! Ito, where are you? I've been trying to reach you for 20 minutes. I guess this means you've heard about his phone? My man's phone turned on! Yeah, Saki told me. I'm on my way to Shinjuku now. I couldn't wait for the uniforms and miss another chance. We've narrowed down the GPS signal to a back alley in the east part of town. You're the only detective I trust that's near it. Oh. Yo! N word again, man. For for twentieth time, your boy is not. I'm white. <laughs> Come on, man. That said, <laughs> I'd be an idiot not to send in the team behind you. Fat Yukimura. You don't trust me. <laughs> Lucky for us, it doesn't look. Like it's moved in the last 30 minutes. What's your ETA? Wow. You're using... Whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> I should be there in about 10 minutes. How long until your team arrives? Well... Uh, yep, we're on our own. <laughs> They're about 20 minutes behind you, Ito. We have no idea what you're walking into, so no heroics. Find the phone. Discover what you can... What you can about how it got there, and then report straight back to HQ. Understood? Yo, yeah, fan of carnival, my boy. Get the next man, mag. Hey. <laughs> yes, sir. I know this one's been especially tough for you. He's your partner, and I understand that you want to be the one to bring him home. But well, are you going to be okay being back in the field? I know it's been a, a while since the uh, incident, so you can't blame me for being a little hesitant. Uh huh. So in the tutorial, remember to keep an eye on your spin attributes from time to time by pressing square. Yeah, wow. Ugh. I'm fine, sir. I have everything under control. Huh. That's what insane people say as well. Uh huh. Right, I'll report in once I find the phone. 
behind the pleasantries, it's plain as day that Yukimura still doesn't trust me to be on my own. The day Kazuki meant missing, the uniforms completely ruined the crime scene. There's no way I'll let that happen again. Hold on, Kazuki. I'll be there soon. Alright. Let's go. On the move. On the move. So, yes, there we go. Five days ago, my partner, Detective Kazuki Tanaka, Tanaka, fuck, I don't know, vanished after leaving police HQ. Man, my, my boy went! There was no sign of him and we had no leads. From one of the most populous cities on Earth, he simply disappeared. That's freaky shit. That is, until an hour ago, when his phone was mysteriously switched on. Tracing it led me here to this grimy road on the east side of Shinjuku. Nothing good ever happens in this part of town. Aha! We're up to no good in the neighborhood. Whoop! Uh, in my opinion, the smaller chicken skewer place is the better. At least that's what I used to tell Kazuki. Aha! Then let's enter it. <sighs> like I have time for chicken tonight anyway. Sussy. Let's go into the butterfly club. Yo, fat guy in a suit. No, I'll, I'll rather talk to the woman Konnichiwa. first. Yo, I'm Detective Ido of the mm, Tokyo Metropolitan Police. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Oh yeah? Hmm. I can smell the cop on you the minute you step through the door. Yeah, sure. Ask away, but make it quick. It usually starts getting busy around now. I. You got it. Have you seen this man? With his beard and all that fucking shit. Within the last day or two? Who is he? Some boyfriend of yours? Mm hmm. Maybe. <laughs> he's a cop and he's missing. Have you seen him or not? Well. A lot of cops pass through here. But that one I haven't seen. Listen. I've got paying customers and not a lot of free time. So you can either order a drink or you can go. So now, choices! Fuck yeah! Yeah, <laughs> choices. Mm. This hostess seems pretty cagey. She might open up after, after a drink, after a few drinks, Jesus. But then again, maybe not. I need to be careful here. Well then, are we gonna drink? Yeah, why not? I don't really uh, <laughs> mind either way. All right, I could afford to take a load off. I'll take a shot of Jesus whiskey already. Whiskey on the rocks. She don't play. You serious? Uh, okay. Most cops don't exactly order drinks out in the open. I am built different. Well, you did say we couldn't keep talking without a drink. I'm built different. I've had my drink now, so get talking. What do you want me to say? Listen, lady, I don't own a place, I just work here. So if this is some kind of sting or something, leave me out of it. It's bad enough to have mouth breeders like Gato over there chanting me up all night. Oh boy, Gato. <sighs> don't worry, it's not a setup. It seems there's been some bad things happening in this part in this part of town tonight, that's all. Ugh. Huh. Bad things, huh? You a rookie? Well, Side streets is where it's at, you know, dealers, murder, all that, all the shady kind of shit. Nope, not by a long shot. Not to sound like one, bad stuff happens here all the time. Seems like every other day I'm hearing whispers of some someone getting beaten or a scam going on. <laughs> Yo, you want free Robux? Anyone whisper to you tonight? No, as a matter of fact, they haven't, officer. Now, as stimulating as that conversation was, I'm, out of, I'm all out of goodwill for the night. Good luck, lady. Hey, fuck you, dude. I'm not gonna talk to that guy in, in his suit. I don't like that. I don't like people in suits. They're too business-like. <laughs> Hold on. Don't I have... No, that's something else. My outfit is different. 
was good hashimi mash day i'm detective video of the yeah yada 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 would you mind if i asked you a few questions yes sir no problem at all you can call me daiso if you want the homie daiso this this is the he's got some shit <laughs> to deal with i mean <laughs> you can call me daiso if you want yeah i haven't uh done something wrong have i i think i think you did not no, nothing like that. I was hoping you could help me, actually. Have you seen this man? Maybe sometime tonight. Hmm, hold on. Mind if I take another peek at that picture? Have you drink? Yeah, drinking behind the bar? Man. Hmm, sorry. I don't think I've seen him after all. Are you positive? I am HIV positive. Yeah, I definitely remember. You see, to be honest, business hasn't been so great. So I haven't seen much of anyone lately, and I definitely remember a guy like that. A gangster like that. Mostly I just sit here alone, wiping down the counter, over and over again. What are you trying to do, fucking... Rub off, like, 50% of your bar counter, huh? <laughs> Can't say, I thought this what I'd be doing. What I'd be doing as the owner of a bar in Shinjuku, you know? Yes, of course. Not to mention honest guys like me are being driven out of business around here. All the other places like that hostess club up the street are cutting corners. A hey, tax evasion. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, sorry to hear that, Daiso. I've got one more question, though. I'm, I'm ad-libbing words like crazy. <clears throat> Jesus. If that's okay, you have a pretty good view of the alley from here. Seen anything unusual out there tonight? Unusual? Not that you mention it. When I went out back before, I thought I heard some ringing. I heard, I heard a ringing sound. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Coming from inside one of the dumpsters. Just kept ringing and ringing. Mm. I, I... Speaking of rings, I had to pawn my way. <laughs> this man went to Pawn Stars, dude. <laughs> I said, yo... I need to pay rent. <laughs> mm. If my wife hears about that, the next thing in the dumpster might be me. <laughs> yeah, you did well, dude. Mm. The phone, right? Mm, pretty normal for a dumpster, I guess. It's locked up tight. Listen. No doubt about it. That's Kazuki's phone, alright. But who would have put it in there? Uh, I don't want to shoot the lock. Damn, no way. I can pry the part of Jimmy it open. Who the fuck is Jimmy? And I'm running out of time. It really leaves me only one solution. No, it does not. Let me uh, go. Go in. So nobody in, in there in the near the key? No, 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 we don't know. Alright. Bang bang. That's how I always open locks. Uh, can't believe that worked. Wait, Ayami, what are you doing? I could use my gun like that in public. Good thing no one saw me. Well, what, what, what were those shadows then, huh? <laughs> that must be it. A filthy paper bag surrounded by a swarm of flies. The ringing is coming from inside. I need to fish it out of there and take a closer look. Well, then, do it. But look first. As I draw near, the familiar metallic scent of blood drifts, in familiar, drifts into my nostrils. Written on the bag are two characters I know very well. Well, your name, isn't it? Yep. Ayami. What the hell is going on here? What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Well, I'll fucking take a look then, huh? Right? <laughs> Embedded in the gruesome red mass is Kazuki's phone. As I slide the phone out, I'm overwhelmed by the smell of rotting meat and the buzzing of flies. Mmm. I like those Japanese developed games that describe everything in high detail. Even shit like that. <laughs> Who is this? Hey! Oh, you finally picked up! I know you would eventually. It's been a long time, Ayami chan. Yo, calling me chan already? What the fuck? How do you know my name? Where's Tanaka? Where are you keeping him? Well, I, 
something fell. Something fell off here. Well, doesn't matter. Shh, let me have a chance. Shh. Tanaka's right here with me in the sewer. Come down here. There's something I want you to see. I are you gonna show me like the biggest shit that just that you just saw in the sewer or whatever? Like, yo, look at that dump. That's pretty gangster. Well, the sewer drain, huh? Blood? No. Nope. Only fresh red paint. The whole thing reminds me of Kamakura and that girl. If there's no time to dwell on the past tonight. I I have work to do. Well, work. This beat. Damn. The bars won't budge. The red paint is on both the inside and outside of the drain, so someone around here must know how to get in. Let's find out about that person then, I guess. Maybe our homie Daiso knows what's good! So, sorry to bother you again, Daiso, but do you know anything about the storm drain at the end of the alley? Well, tell us. No worries, detective, now that you mention it, and you might not believe me, mm -hmm. But I swear I saw a fat guy in a suit climbing out of there a few days ago along with some girl. So that fat guy is a pervert. Aha! He's kind of infamous around here. Infamous as well? Jesus fucking Christ, man, what the hell? Probably at one of the hostess clubs as usual. Maybe the butterfly club? Hopefully he'll stay there. Well, I hope so too! <laughs> fucking shit staying going into the sewer where he belongs, huh? <laughs> Anyway, that storm drains bad news if you ask me. I'd steer clear of it. It smells. Red paint. Have you seen anyone around here carrying a bucket of red paint? Huh? Paint? No, I guess not. I mean, I wasn't really looking for it, I guess. Why do you ask? I know the hmm <laughs> Jesus. Hmm. I know there's a couple of red marks near the sewer. Hopefully it's nothing. Well you hope. <laughs> okay, well, I'll keep an eye out and make sure to let you know if I see anything. Well, you got it. All G, my boy. Sewer? Sewer. Yo. Excuse me, I've got a witness who says someone fitting your. <laughs> a fat guy in a suit. That's someone fitting your description has entered the storm drain at the end of the street before. Any chance that was you? No, oh, no, here we go. I don't know what you're talking about, lady. I don't. I'm giving it a redneck voice immediately. Like fat cells like these, people like this. If I had the guts, I would have done done this, dude. Don't play dumb with me. I know you've been in that sewer. Tell me how you get in now. Fucking metaphorically pointing a gun to his head. Smart. <clears throat> the hell you think you are? I don't care what some asshole said about me, lady. Damn. You fucking ruthless, huh? I know you take women in there. <laughs> and if you want to leave this bar with the necessary parts to be with one again. Oh, yo, my man's, my man's balls getting ripped off? I, I suggest you start talking. Uh, I, uh, sorry about the misunderstanding. There's a shrine in that sewer. I go down there to do, uh, uh to, uh, uh, do stuff. Yep. I don't remember asking you what you do down there. I asked how you... I asked how you get down there. Jesus, I don't sound fucking convincing at all now, do I? Now start talking. Alright, alright, just leave me alone. There's a trick to opening the grate. With the leftmost part to the right and the one next to it to the left. And they come off. Why you speak like you're from Osaka, I think. And then you can crawl inside. There. You happy now? I'll just leave me alone. Good. You're very professional. If I can see. <laughs> very pro. Yeah, we're still professional. I find that very hard to believe. I don't believe that at all. Uh, lights. Hmm. Someone has strung up some cheap lights haphazardly along the ceiling, maybe in a vain attempt at creating an intimate atmosphere. Gato, of course. Ah, uh, nah, bruh. 
seeing that probably took a few years of my life. I wish I would not see that ever again. But nope. The photo is in good shape and I guess it was taken recently. Yep. Let me just, uh... Hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a gamble, but I could try getting down there barehanded. There's gotta be something around here I could use to climb down more safely, though. Now, you've seen this man. He has a rope, probably. <laughs> if he's down here often, there's a prob possibility, not probability, there's a possibility he has the rope on him tonight. I should take this photo to remind him. Let's do it. Fucking, I hope he doesn't get the wrong idea. Fucking, oh girl, you wanna have some freaking time with me? <laughs> no. Please. God, no. Was good. I have reason to believe you might be carrying a rope on you. I need it. Ah, you again? I thought you said you'd leave me alone already. Anyway, I don't know anything about a rope or whatever. I don't have time for this. I was that. That kind of thing isn't illegal. <laughs> well, in your case, it definitely should be. No, it's not. Breaking into a sewer to do, to do it, however, is. And this picture is pretty strong evidence to put you at the scene, don't you think? Well, I hope so, because this fucking man, uh. He is a top of lord. <laughs> hey now, you're an all-star. <laughs> Say, why don't I trade you? I'll give you that rope and you can give me that picture. It's gonna jack off to it. Alright, it's... I have a feeling that the music is a bit too loud. Let me just... Turn that a bit down. There we go. Bloop. I was about to suggest something similar, except I keep the rope and the picture, and in exchange, you get to stay out of jail tonight. Good. Fine. Fine. Just take it. You know what? I'm starting to think you might not be my type. Good. Ass wipe. Whoop! Let's go, fucking athletics. Just running a marathon here. Let's do it. Ooh, ooh. Well, at least we know we got a gun on us. If shit goes south. The robot's thin, and I know it's been used, but it's all I've got. Here it goes, nothing. Mmm. Used, huh? Sweaty, disgusting, smelly. I already said smelly. Fucking. Hmm. <laughs> Yo. We in the mix. Ah, nice. That's not nice. Just your average red hat holding, holding my boy hostage. At long last, I'd found Kazuki. His hands were bound and his head was covered by a dirty blood-stained sack. I'd gone on all business ready to handle the situation quickly, get everyone home safe, and go back to a normal life. Well, that, uh, hmm, exactly. That went out of the window now, didn't it? <laughs> My plans went out of the window the minute I made out the, his captor's face. It was a face I knew very well. Six months ago in Kamakura, Kazuki and I encountered her in a hostage situation gone wrong. Well. What did you do? She died. Oh. Well, she didn't die now, did she, huh? <laughs> the cold eyes and unhinged smile the stare that stared at me from the shadows at the end of the tunnel belonged to a girl six months dead. Aha! That is very sussy. Is that a zombie or something? <laughs> I stood frozen to the spot, unable to speak as I faced down the impossible. Well, yeah, it kinda is, huh? It must be a trick. That's what my subconscious whispered to me over and over to drown out the sound of my beating heart. I guess you would. The girl wasn't surprised to see me, in fact. It seemed that my shock and surprise were what she had wanted to see all along. The fact remained that I was alone. I hadn't told Yukimura where I was, and Kazuki's life was in her hands. Well, then, then let's try and do something about it now, doesn't it? Don't it? It was me and her, a lone detective and a girl straight from a nightmare. Well, then we are gonna draw our gun. Let's go. 
please drop the weapon and let him go. And fucking please do it. <laughs> Why would I do that? Well, um, shit. <laughs> On to plan B. <laughs> Tanaka, can you hear me? Stay calm. I'll get you out of this. Ito, no. You have to get out of here, please. Before, for what? Huh? Man, shh, that's enough out of you. Man, what a fucking. I said, hands up. Now, fucking cunt. Do it. You just keep talking now, don't you, huh? Fucking <laughs> cunt. Not even a hello, or a long time no see, Ayami chan? It has been a while after all. Six months, huh? <laughs> I won't fall for that. That girl died six months ago. Oh, I did? <laughs> I wish someone had told me, then I wouldn't have gone through all this trouble. You remember that spring day in Kamakura, don't you, Ayami chan? That day you and Tanaka showed up to help that poor little shrine girl. Well, Tanaka wanted to help. Anyway, you, on the other hand, just pretended to help, but wanted to hurt me like everyone else. Alright. No, 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 no. Don't want to remember those things. Shh, shh. Can you hear that? You remember the voices, don't you? Ah, nice. F fucking amazing. It's awake. It's finally awake. Like the day we've met. I did it. Well, what? Are we woke? Or what, what? What is woke now? Now I can bring him with me. Huh? <laughs> oh yeah, did I forget to mention that? You should say bye bye because Tanaka's coming with me. I'm not very smart. It's confusing down there all on my own. But with Tanaka, it will be different. Well then, don't. That's my boy. <laughs> we'll finally be able to fight the door. Yeah, you shut up. And I won't be alone. Maybe with him down there, it will. It will let me go. <laughs> you look confused, Yami chan Don't worry. It will all be over soon. You're insane. Put down the weapon or I'll have to shoot. Well then, fucking shoot. <sighs> when the opportunity arises, I'm gonna shoot my fucking shot. <laughs> you say that like it's so hard for you. I bet you're just wanting for an excuse to hurt me again. Exactly. I just want to shoot you very bad. Whoever you are, get out, get down on the ground now, fucking cunt. I don't really sound convincing at all now, do I? <laughs> you know who I am. I know where you are too, Ayami Ido. I don't take orders from you. Fuck. Yo, she a rebel, no, huh? My mind raced in every direction to come up with a logical explanation for what I saw. The clothes, the hair, the mannerisms were all the same, but I still didn't believe it at first. It was when she mentioned the voices from Kamakura that my defense began to wear down. The voices? Where's Ninja when you need him? Fucking Tyler, Fortnite, Ninja Blevins. There was no way she could have known about that. I'd left it out of my reports and Kazuki and I didn't talk about it. I began to accept that the girl I faced really was the same girl. Hmm. A wave of deja vu rushed over me as I stared down my gun sights. The scent of cherry blossoms drifting faintly into my nostrils under the thick sewage. Was I doomed to repeat my sins over and over? It's not really a sin now if it's a situation like this. Fucking go ahead and shoot. The knife crept closer and closer to Kazuki's throat. I had no choice. No! When I was in the academy, we used paper dummies for target practice. Printed on them were always scary looking men with scars and grizzled killers holding guns. Fucking... What is this, Call of Duty? They never gave the bad guys the face of a child. Paper far- Paper targets? Nice. Fart. Paper targets don't bleed when you shoot them or call out to their mothers when the pain overwhelms their senses. Mommy! Well, then they shouldn't have fucking done that now, do they? It wasn't my first time firing my weapon. I knew what would happen. I'd suffer the consequences, give up my badge and never hold a gun again, just to save Kazuki. That's what I told myself anyway. But the truth is, she disgusted me. Every second she spent standing there in that sewer, my mind cried out in agony, begging me to put an end to an impossibility. Then, uh, shoot. <laughs> then she smiled at me, and as if I was watching it through some someone else's eyes, I saw her begin to slide and... Oh my f- Why did- Ayami, you don't- 
You need to shoot earlier, girl! <laughs> I sort of began to slide the knife across Kazuki's throat. Well, I pulled the trigger. Well, you're too late. You took the L. After that, my recollection is hazy. The girl's head twitched and her body began to slump up to the ground. Then she was gone and Kazuki was on the ground, the blood pouring from his neck. Well, that's fucking amazing now, is it? I think she was screaming. <laughs> uh, at least we shot her. That is a little, little dub. Six months earlier. Now we're gonna see what happened. Why is she dead? After, like, you know, for six months and still alive. Yes, yes. Yo, the cat. Good morning, Lady Fluffington. <laughs> Why are people calling their pets like this? <laughs> oh my god. How are you today? Uh, well, thank you. Yo, yo. <laughs> Fucking. What was that one, one video? From this one, like. Black eye. Um. Just, it was something just like a, a, a ghetto version of a cat, I guess, holding a Glock or whatever I saw. Glad you're so happy. I guess Kazuki already left, huh? I'm not gonna make those cat noises. There is one thing in the world that I'm not gonna do, and that's that's that. Just imagine. <laughs> Playful Nya, alright? You didn't drive him out, did you? No body scratchy. Fucking cats bite. It's like dogs only bite you, but cats can also scratch you. Getting bitten by a cat isn't really gangster. This motherfucker did. Well, huh. that settles that, I guess. It was morning, right? It's fitting that I yawned. You've been good with him late lately, haven't you? I think that's a yes. If only Yukimura shared your enthusiasm. Something tells me he'll get over it though. Why are you needy? Do you have to play right now? I, I think we have. We have to. Alright, alright. Where with your height your toy this time? This, this time. Nice. English is not my primary language. <laughs> Go. My neki neck was Lady Fluffington's favorite toy and I suffered for months of her banning it around. If I see any while I'm out, I should pick up a new one. Who knows? Uh, whatever. It's the same. Who knows? They might even bring us good luck. Who knows? A <laughs> Little bit of a side belief, I think. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. The cat! The cat! Don't forget the cat! There you go. For the life of me, I can't figure out why you love this thing so much. I, I think, I think, I think she's happy. I'm calling it a he now the whole time. Fucking awesome. Well, whatever the reason, I'm glad it makes you happy. It makes you so happy, little one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Right, that's done. Sanity restored. A little bit. We're also very professional. <laughs> Super professional. I'll try to keep that as good as possible. Hmm. What's this? Kazuki must have been looking at it before before he left. Jesus. Stuttering problem now. Do we, Ayami? A, sh a shrine, red paint. It all has the pa it, it has all the patterns of the case he's been working on for the last few months. Yukimura's been giving him hell, saying such a minor case is wasting precious police resources, but bullheaded as anyways, as always, he won't give it up. Can't say I get it either, honestly. Chasing after some weird kids and vandals isn't his style. Hmm, vandals, huh? If only you'd know, Ayami. <laughs> it's weird. He's been kind of obsessive of, of bleh, he's been kind of obsessive about this case. When I ask him for details, he shrugs me off. Well then, maybe I'll ask him about it when he comes back. Hmm, maybe you should. Your partner's keeping you in the dark about that one, huh? Ha, <laughs> Tokyo Dark. Where is he anyway? It's a bit exhausting being with someone who's on his own schedule all the time. 
At least he brought he bought coffee before he left, otherwise he'd be in a world of hurt. Well, you would have been as well, caffeine. Just the Because your body's a bit reliant on caffeine now, you know, I would assume. Jesus fucking Christ! Hello, neighbors! <laughs> Just fucking... Donut! Mrs. Donut! Yo! Oh, hey, Yumi, do you, uh, wanna come in? Nope, I'm on my way out, but I want to drop this off first. What is this? It certainly has a distinct GG odor. Funny. Ancient family recipe, creamy curry donuts. Coconut, honey, curry powder, but the secret is the five hot chilies that are hidden in the batter. Yeah, that's that's awesome. It's gonna make you shit. It's... The next day when you've eaten that, you're gonna have a nasty surprise. They have quite the kick. These bad boys will clean your soul with fire inside and out. Exactly, that that's what I'm talking about. Wait, how are the chilies hidden in the batter? You me, I'm not so sure. Uh, 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 no need to thank me. Your body will thank me after you eat them. No, they won't. You're gonna cry out. But anyways, how have you been? Don't change the subject. All I see lately are... Convenience store box lunches and junk food. You need to take care of yourself. I'd be happy to cook for you too if you want. For what? How, mu how much? How much, girl? I'm gonna hire you in as a chef. You're welcome anytime. If it's for free, though. Jeez, that would have been gangster. How about tonight? Or maybe after you're done working sometime? Tonight might be a bit tricky, and our shifts can run a little late. Overworking. Unless you're happy with us dropping in around 2 a.m. Hmm, you make a good point there, neighbor. It's bad enough with you clumping around at night. I am right beneath you, you know. Yep, apartments. I think you don't get anything else unless you're very fucking rich in Tokyo. Sorry, Yumi. You can blame the clumping on Kazuki. I'm light as a feather. Jesus, you play. This this girl blaming it all this man. Don't be sorry. It's the price of the price. The price, nice. It's the. <laughs> Rhyme. It's the price of living below someone so interesting. Then again, there was that one time you started singing at 4 a.m. Why do you... You were shouting something about the night night not being able to end until you sang some idol song. What was that again? Idols, huh? <laughs> Idols. Love life. All that. All that jazz. <laughs> That's okay. You can forget about that. Shut up, Yubi. <laughs> To be honest, I liked it. It was reassuring to hear you loosen up. Okay. Plus, I like to think it gives me a window into Detective Ito's real side, you know? What I mean? Maybe. My real side, huh? Well, I do like karaoke. And then the phone. Then we should go sometime. I can sing a language too. I'm a pro. My girlfriend thought I was half. I'm quite talented, you see. Damn! That's my work phone. Quickly, pick it up, please! <laughs> Okay, I should get going anyway, but Ayami, huh? Don't forget my offer, okay? Come over sometime. I will. Sorry, Yumi. I've gotta take this. Yes, Hi. please, Ayami. Fucking read us all from that ringtone. Ido here. What's up? Kazuki, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Thanks for picking up. I didn't know who else to call. Well, what are you doing? I was wondering where you wandered off. Why are you calling me on this phone? You're not on the clock, are you? Uh-oh. Workaholics. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't leave this one alone. I think I might have made a big break. In what? The mystery of the broken coffee maker? Ha! Buy a new one. Huh? Nope. Unfortunately, that case will likely remain unsolved. Man! Have Yumi look at it. The shrine case I've been working on. I think I found a pattern. All of the shrines are connected to people whose names are, are said Kiwana. There's so many ways to write Kiwana in Chinese characters that we didn't see the connection before. It's like our suck... Suck... Su, su, Jesus. Suck pact. That's what I wanted to say. It's like our sussy baka. Like, it's like our suspect has been going up and down Tokyo, going to sh shrines one by one, looking for someone. That would explain why the pattern seems so random. It doesn't explain... The weird markings or the random violence, though. 
Well, you've seen what kind of crazy bitch that that girl is. Uh, yeah, I mean, she no good. But it's a start. I had a bit of a snoop for the records, and I think she'll be in Kamakura next. I'm headed there now. Uh oh, Kamakura, not cool. Not cool at all. I can be there in a little over an hour. What do you need me to do? T thanks, Ayami. I know I could count on you. I don't trust anyone else. What do we need to do? I'm just about to arrive, so I'll get started on the legwork. Interviewing people in the area and seeing what I know. Meanwhile, once you get here, I'll need official stuff. Surveillance footage, public records and the like. Well, there are not gonna be a lot of cameras now. Are there in, like, Kamakura? Not much to go on, but together we should find something. Public rec- I have no idea what it all is. So I get the boring stuff? Oh, that's why. <laughs> it's boring stuff. Serves me right for showing up late, huh? Ah, I'll get you a drink after. Promise. Ayami, keep an eye out for Rat Pain too. It's been at all the other crime scenes. I'll see you soon. That Rat Pain that was also in the sewer? Aha! Uh -huh. And be careful. If I'm right, this person might be dangerous. Oh gee, homie. I got you. In retrospect, the way Kazuki sounded on the phone that day was off. Under his normal enthusiasm was hesitation, a little shake in his voice that should have told me something was wrong. At the, at the time, I chalked it up to overwork after all. He hadn't been sleeping much in the weeks prior. If only I'd known and hadn't put up a wall of normality to hide from him. Instead of explaining away his obsession with the case and ignoring him as he tossed and turned, I should have talked to him. Well, if you sleep... It, this makes it sound like they sleep together in one bed. Which sounds logical. It was a it was a two person bad idiot. I forgot. Like, yo, yo, bruh, you right? In all fairness, I wasn't the only one trying to ignore reality. Kazuki was a fierce investigator. Once he grabbed a hold of something, he followed it no matter how dangerous it was. Well, that's a good. Um, good personality trait and a bad one <laughs> all together. He kept me in the dark as long as he could, but in the end, he needed me. So when he caught me, he tried his best to laugh and joke to throw me off the scent. It worked. It worked because I let it. Well, then you shouldn't have done that, Ayami. <laughs> I guess so. Sakura, our gangsta. Ask about stations and security. Security, yes. I cannot talk. Welcome to Kamakura! Was good, Magira. I was actually looking for some information. Information? Haha! <laughs> well, you've come to the right guy! Name's Magira. Did you know that I'm no mere station attendant, but also a volunteer tour guide on my days off? A jack of all trades! Uh, hmm. I can see from your blank expression that you don't believe me, but I'm the best there ever was. I'm not even from around here, and I could still tell you everything that there is to know about this place. You are frantic frantically looking everywhere. Makira, are you... I think you're lying. Guidebooks, maps, the internet? Pah! All silly toys for amateurs. I've got it all up here. In his brain. Maybe. Or whatever. Right, that's uh, great. Magda, is that Japanese? Uh, anyway, what kind of security do you have at the station? Are there many cameras set up here or around town? Uh, cameras, you say? Uh, I guess I should explain. I'm a detective with Tokyo Metropolitan Police. That's a mouthful, dude. Ah, see, I'm really less of a current events kind of guy and more of a people and date sort. Can you tell me if there are cameras or not, you... Some call me a master of time and identity. If I had harnessed my incredible knowledge... Jesus, my God, shut up! ...an ability to examine the minute of events, I could have become a great detective myself. Yeah, I'm sure that's true. It's not. Well, okay, maybe this one's a bit more up your alley. Can you tell me about the shrines around here? Maybe some of the beaten path. Oh, I know. Just down the street, there's an old shrine band. And, uh, yes. 
The shrine is um, old and uh, nice. Go on. Okay, okay, okay. So it's not really my thing. But that wasn't fair. You caught me unaware with that one. Unawares? Is that really correct spelling? I've seen that spelling multiple times around here and there. It's... I don't know. I really am quite knowledgeable. Yep, I believe you. So where's the shrine? Easy. Just up the road to the right. Or was it down to the left? Sorry, directions aren't really my thing. And that's why you're a station attendant. Fuck it. Smart ass. <laughs> oh man. What a guy. What a guy. Hold on. Okay. Just had to look on my laptop real quick. <clears throat> I see. Well, what do you know then? Well, well, the locals say that it has weird aura to it, see? Bet you didn't know that. Yeah, I'll uh, have a look around for myself. Thanks. That was a wasted breath. Oh, oops. <laughs> oh, I actually pushed triangle. There was a... Now I'm looking back on the stream, I... There was a little Maneki Neko there. Hidden there. I love the cherry blossoms this time of year. Kazuki and I will have to do... Eh? Kazuki and I will have to arrange a picnic before they're gone. Hell yeah! Red paint? I guess Kazuki's hunch was right, but why this house? I'll leave it for now. Forensics might be able to make something out of this. That is... Maybe the case. What's up? Shut up, crow. The divide between the sacred and us mortals. The shrine that belongs to must be a bad. Well, then let's try and get get up there. Hold on. Hold, oh, oh, oh. Can we? We we cannot. A beautiful bamboo grove. The shrine that the gate belongs to must be hidden beneath it. Well, we have to look at this then. Probably. I can see something floating in the river with more red markings on it. I need to carefully fish it out and so I don't disturb it. Uh, I don't want to shoot. <laughs> I really don't want to shoot. That would be super professional of me, but not really. Whoop! I can take that. This looks just long enough to fish out that object in the water. Well, then let's do it. Whoop! Use cherry branch. With some difficulty, I managed to just barely use the branch to get the object out of the water without disturbing it. Don't, don't fall into the water. A train pass, and just like I thought, it has red paint on it. I should go to the station and see what this, who this belongs to. What this belongs to? What the fuck? <laughs> Magira, you can do something useful. Come on, Magira, you can do it! I believe in you. Maybe. Ask about the train pass. Hi! What can the the great Magira What can the great Magira help you with? I found this commuter pass by the stream. Could you tell me who it belongs to? Yeah, sure, just is is that b blood? Oh, the red markings? No, it's paint, I think. You think? Blood isn't really my thing, man. It's definitely not blood. Smell it. Smell? No, no need. I believe you, right? Right, 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 right. It's not blood. Give it here. Okay, uh, a little bit good on me, but, but it's fine. No problem. It's just pain. N not blood. Nope, not blood. Deep breaths, my guy. Right, sorry about the tem temporary loss of composure. Allow me to effortlessly find the owner of this pass. Thank you, uh, damn thing. I'll swipe. I'll swipe it again. Here. Aha! Let's see. Hmm. As fortune would have it, I know the owner of this card. It belongs to Mai, the youngest daughter of the Kawana family. A very in interesting fam. A very interesting family indeed. Okay, I got very confused there. Oh, and what makes them so interesting? Well, they own a lot of land in the area and have donated a considerable amount to the local shrine as well. I often see my working there. 
The house next to the station with the laundry hung up outside actually belongs to her grandmother. Except for my... Huh? Jesus? Except for my... They're all a pretty... Cloister lot. Well then, yeah, that's what I am as well, so... She's usually a very careful girl. I can't see her dropping her pass without coming to see me about it. I know all about those passes after all. I'm the expert on train passes. Well, you use a machine for that now, don't you? Mine's a good kid. You don't think he's she's got on involved with nefarious types, do you? Not that I'm aware of. If I'm sure it's nothing, but I wouldn't mind talking to her regardless. Ooh, pardon me. Well, if she's here, she's probably at her grandmother's. Anything else you'd like to know? That's all for now. Thanks. Yeah, before he says that he's like a talented NBA player. And then he's gonna show us how he how he hoops. Fucking whoop. Nope. There doesn't seem to be anyone home. Look in. A dark room covered in dust. Hard to believe someone actually lives here. Knock again. Still no answer. I guess I'll have to watch the shrine. Uh, well, we already examined that. What was that? It sounded like it came from behind me. Uh-oh. The door opened? That's not gangsta. Yo! Excuse the intrusion. And with the police, is anyone here? Well, uh, looking at the scenery, it doesn't really look like that. It looks like fucking abandoned and shit. Oh, no. All broken down. Yo, old woman. Wow. Who are you? <laughs> no. How did you get into my house? Well, the door. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. My name's Ido, and I'm with the police. The door was unlocked. Hmm. You think because you're with the police, you could just walk through my house with impunity? I thought I'd lock the door. I think you're a bit off your off your wits, uh, woman. What did you say your name was? Not that it matters. Whoever you are, you shouldn't be here. You saw yourself in, you can see yourself out. The door? I know where I locked it. Were you followed? Followed? No, I'm looking for your granddaughter, Mai, and I wanted to ask you about the red markings outside. Drugs! Yeah. Mai? What do you want to, what do you want with her? She's a good girl. You leave her alone. The last thing I need is police sniffing around my house. When I came here, I wanted to be alone so that my family and I could live in peace. All you're doing is bringing unwanted attention. Besides, I don't care about those superstitious markings. So you know what those mar marks are. There were once people who made marks in red so that they wouldn't get lost. A guide for those who have passed into the spiritual plane. More likely, it's a vandal. Ah. Amazing. Shh, can you hear that? Why? After all this time, Emiko? Emiko, is that you? <laughs> no, Swa. No, she's gone. Why does it call to you so? Perhaps you can be the one to free me from this torment. Perhaps these old bones have been. Isn't that an Alice in Chains song? No, them bones is what that was called. Never mind. I've suffered long enough. If it wants to leave, then. Then I'll give it to you. Whoa, slow down, old woman. Give me what? What are you talking about? I think it's something very hard. You'll help me, won't you? Take it from me. It wants to go with you. It? It? It's alive? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, it's a mask that's alive, huh? I still find it very hard to believe. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can put it away now. You don't have to look at it for a good 20 minutes. <laughs> Your sanity drops. <sighs> I'm sorry, child. Sorry. What is this? I feel strange. We spent years trying to answer that fairy question. Few fruitless years. I don't know. I have to get out of here. I'm sorry. Yes. Take it away from this. Yeah, that. Man, you did nothing, no, not a t no tea, no coffee, nothing. Man. As soon as I touched it, it was as if the lens through which I viewed the world was jarred out of focus. 
my vision swirled and shifted, my legs became limp, and a vile smell assaulted my nostrils. I pushed my way back towards the entrance. I needed to get out of the house! Quickly! Run! Whoop! And we are gone! Do 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 do! Got attic? The wave of sickness that <laughs> oh wow <laughs> fuck uh, that overcame me began to fade as I emerged from the old musty Kiwana house. Immediately, my mind began to write off what I I'd experienced as a coincidence, feelings brought on by a lack of sleep and a strange case. After a few long falls of the spring air, my headache subsided and the nausea lessened. With every step I took out the door, the strong emotions I felt while holding the mask got further away as well. Maybe it was the old Kawana woman who made my mind go to such a strange place. Well, I guess so. Fucking that crazy old woman. <laughs> What other explanation could there be? Drugs, hallucinogenics, or whatnot, <laughs> you know? But as I walked away from the house, I stopped and broke into a cold sweat. My skin erupted in goosebumps, something wasn't right. The mask was still firmly in my grasp. My knuckles had grown white from gripping it so tightly. Why? Why had I held onto it? Why had I held onto it? Jesus, it's not going better now. <laughs> Before I could think of an answer, a scream from the direction of the shrine broke through my muddled thoughts. Hmm, I think we have to run. Four crows, that, that, mm-hmm. That's not a bad omen at all. Yo, it's the girl again. She back in the building. Yo. That day at the shrine, I saw Reina for the first time, the girl whom Kazuki had been chasing, and who would be a killer six months later. Fucking Reina. Her eyes kept darting around, making her mental state impossible to read. Until that day, I've never seen her. But you felt familiar. I don't know why I'm yawning so much. I haven't missed sleep. I, I It's all good. But I'm still yawning. As I moved toward her, I began to feel uneasy. Held at knife point was my Kawana, who must have been dragged there shortly before I arrived. This girl is so fucking small. <laughs> Mai is so much taller than her. <laughs> she has to stand on her fucking toes to keep her at knife point there. <laughs> Even in the warm spring air, I remember a shiver going down my spine. Well then. Kazuki, tell me what's good. Tanaka, what's exactly going on here? Everything's under control, you know. Stay behind me. Well, I guess she's screaming. Who is she? Tell her to go away. If she doesn't, I'll do it. I swear. Yeah, whatever. Um, what is? It? How do you call it? Whatever. The people that hold hostages. Fucking a terrorist? No, that's in CSGO. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. I don't know anything. Please. Well, yeah, fucking. Shrine Maiden, Doho reference. I would be surprised if people know that game. Reina, this is my partner, Detective Ido. I told you she'd be coming, remember? See, she's staying right there behind me, just like I said she would. No one's trying to trick you. What took you so long, Ido? Anyway, tread lightly and follow my lead. Uh, let's don't draw my gun. What's it's your girl, Ayami Ido, in the building. Hey, your name's Reina, right? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking confused. Hi, Reina. My name is Ayami. I'm a friend. Nah, it's your girl. You already know what's good. <laughs> Trying to make small talk while this girl is being held at knife point. Please help me! Well, yeah, mm, you're not my friend. Yeah, exactly. You don't know shit about me. I don't trust her. Keep her back. We won't take one more step. 
promise. Well, fucking... You know, my partner's a lot smarter than I am. Maybe you should tell her what you told me. About the voices and what you call it. Oh, right! In the dark! Oh, fucking... The people trolling around in the dark. No, I don't want to talk about them. You said you can make them stop. Can you really? Oh, this... This girl for, is going for my man! No! Like I said, I've met other people like you. They were very sick, yeah, fucking hallucinating and shit. But when they came with me, I, I got them to help. I got them help and they got better. Jesus, man. I'm sick? It's not real? Well... Very sick. <laughs> That's right. Though I know it seems real. It's not your fault. It, it's not. No, of course not. If I was in your position, I'd be scared too. It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. That's right. No, you're wrong. Y you can't see it, that's all. What's down there? Eating everything up. Eating me up. Human meat, huh? Cannibalism. Woo! I don't see anything, Reyna. It's a beautiful spring day. Nothing more. There's nothing out to get you here. It's below us all the time. I will a fucking yawning. <laughs> it yawns and <laughs> shows me things. Things it wants me to do. I can't eat. I can't sleep. There's nothing below us. I know it's confusing, but we've been sick a long time. And it won't get better unless you let, let us help you. Let's fucking do it. No, you're lying. You want to hurt me like everyone else. I'll do it alone. I've always been alone. Well, then... Do, do whatever you need. Fucking... <laughs> I need the mask, that's the only way to fix this, so stay away. Well then, fucking... Do that. Reyna, there's no mask here. Isn't that right, Mai? Yeah, of course. I don't know any anything about a special mask at this shrine. Fucking... Everybody sounds like a, a weird teenage guy. Hmm. And Reyna, Mai wouldn't lie about that, would she? There's no reason to hurt her if she doesn't know anything, right? Quiet! Both of you! You're working together! Aha! That's it! Yeah, okay, fucking smart ass. That's it, right? I know it's here! Where's the mask? Where is the mask? Well then, fuck your mask. <laughs> Please, stop! I don't know anything about it! I don't! I swear! Please let me go! Hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Crazy taxi! We talked about this earlier, right? Violence only makes everyone nervous, and Crazy Taxi doesn't! And people do silly things when they're nervous. I, I don't know about you two, but it's hard, hard for me to focus clearly on an empty stomach. I'm starving. Are you too hungry? No. Know what my favorite food is? Pizza! What? I... okay. What's your favorite type of pizza? Uh, you, you wanna know about... Uh, I don't know. I like margarita? A little boring. It is kind of boring, yes, but a classic. How about you, Reyna? What's your favorite pizza? I can get one, Brun. Yo, for free? Free pizza? I, I... I maybe I... <laughs> should hold some people hostage like that! Like, whoa! Free pizza, let's go! Much more pleasant way to talk than at the opposite ends of a shrine, if you ask me. Pizza? But what about the... I promise we'll talk about all that stuff later. But first, pizza! <laughs> I like pizza too. Before. Not now. Before? Before what, Reyna? Maybe you can tell me about it. No, no, no! I don't want to talk about that. Besides, I can't eat. It makes me sick. Ever since that day, I think you just have a hangover. <laughs> no, no, no. Stop thinking about it. Mom. Everyone. I know it all seems impossible. You have many things to overcome before you get better. A sickness of the mind can affect the body while it's saying the same thing as stress now, isn't it? And I bet once the doctors have a look at you, they can help with that too. Hey, Ido. You join us, right? What's your favorite pizza? Fucking margarita, of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't... Like, pepperoni pizza is... It's up there. It's... 
that's a solid guess or a solid solid answer, you know? You too? Seems to be all the right, see? No one's out to get you, Reina. We'd rather we all rather just go peacefully. Mm-hmm. Stop! I don't want to hear any more about that, don't you understand? I won't stop until I get it. What do you mean? Put that knife down, Reina. And then we can help you find whatever it is you're looking for. No, I know what you're doing. That bitch knows! Jeez. My feelings, girl! You're here hiding it from me, but I know this is the right one. I can feel it here! And if she doesn't give it to me, I'm gonna make little Mai bleed. I fucking bleed him out like a fucking chicken. Reyna, listen to me. I'm sure if mine knew anything about this mask, she'd tell you. My? My? No, her! The one next to you! She's. You said she was a friend! She said, Do you love me? No, fucking. Not Kanye West. Why would you lie? I can hear them. I can feel them. I can see them all around her. Shadows, voices. You mean Ido? She doesn't know anything about this, Reyna. You're a little scared of her, and that fear is playing into your sickness. You have to trust that what you see isn't there. No, stop lying, you don't get it, it's real. She's seen it. Oh, seen what? But why? Why is it awake? Why, 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 why? Well, you were a bit fucking... Um, cuckoo crazy. <laughs> what is that? Can you hear it? It, so it sounds like it does down there. Oh, I think she's going crazy, guys. Mm -mm, she's becoming sussy. Get back! Can you hear it? Oh god, make it stop. You said you can help me, so make it stop. But I'm fucking. I'm gonna slap the shit out of you. Please make it stop. All right, let's uh, do a little something, something about that. Uh, yeah, do your thing, Tanaka. I'm just gonna shut up. Reina, look at me! <laughs> fucking like a <laughs> that's that was the kind of tone your parents would have when they were calling out your name in the playground for dinner. <laughs> Come here, or like a dog. We're in this together. I don't see anything. There's nothing there. You're sick, remember? I know how real it seems, but it's not. Don't look at her. Look at me. Look there. Now back at me. The eggs have now become diamonds, or whatever the fuck it was. I'm not saying this to hurt you, I'm saying it to help you. Well, if nobody wants to help you... Ugh. That's not true. I wouldn't have followed you all the way here if it didn't. You came here for me? Really? That's right. Things don't have to be like this. You're young, it's not too late to be happy. Happy? But I don't deserve it. I'm sick. You said I was sick. I'm broken. That's why it won't let me rest. There's something wrong with me. Yeah, and that's why you shouldn't think that. <laughs> We're all broken, but doesn't, that doesn't mean we can't put ourselves back together. Sometimes we just need a little help. I This man knows what he's doing, I gotta say. It's not real. It's No, it can be, but... What if he can't fix me? I'll do everything I can. I need to drop the knife. Mai isn't involved. It, it has to be a trick. But I don't want to be alone all the time. I'm not going to hurt her, but stay back. Thank you, Arena. That's all I needed to hear. Hey, gang gang. <laughs> and then Ayami is here to kind of fuck it up. <laughs> Before that day, the possibility of ever using my gun on another human being never occurred to me. In my mind, doing so was a failure as a detective. A sign that you hadn't thought the situation through, that all the other options had failed. The Ayami I knew would never have pointed her gun at a girl. But suddenly, as I stood under the cherry blossoms, that Ayami was replaced by someone else. I was a passenger in my own body. That sounds fair. I'm just curious how that would feel. A little bit. Looking on in horrors, as a woman, identical to me, began to squeeze the trigger. My thoughts were lost in the din of a thousand terrified voices. Somebody sh sharing a Spotify track to me? What the fuck? <laughs> I... I 
just got a bit <laughs> distracted there. <laughs> I wish I could say I lost consciousness or I didn't remember what I did, but that isn't true. I remember every moment, every second, and every face that looked at me in horror. Well then, at what I did. So, hmm, I think I, I have to kill her. I'm not that sure. Like maybe one, one out of the eight options is a fake one. But hey, we'll never know. Let's do it. <laughs> hey, why are you laughing like that? What the fuck? <laughs> Ido, what are you doing? Uh, Ido, put your weapon down! Don't do this! Kazuki shouts never reached my ears. Well, okay, yeah, I'm sure. The world I'd been in moments before no longer existed. There was darkness, and it was only me! <sighs> the girl and a voice that told me to do one thing. So I did. Bow! Do it! Shoot the girl, fucking fuck her up. As my finger pulled the trigger, Reyna looked at me and smiled. Yo, being happy. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, you shot me. Well done. Thumbs up. Woo. I wonder why she smiled, knowing at that moment what was about to happen to her. It was as if she knew exactly what was happening to me. She looked me right in the eye as the bullet ripped through her skull. Cool. <laughs> the smile never left her face, even then, even after she died. Well, she can't adjust it when she's dead now, doesn't she now, huh? <laughs> Fucking hell. <clears throat> Boom. <laughs> Damn. We in the hospital? <laughs> Yo, he's still in the building. Ayami, can you hear me? Nurse. Nurse, she's awake! Waza! Listen to me, Ayami. You're going to be fine. You collapsed after after the gunshot. That fucking gun packed a punch now, didn't it? <laughs> huh? Gun? What are you talking about? Oh no, that girl! What did I do? What did I do? Go to the office! What did I do? Go to the office! Fucking... There's an Osu beat map of that, <laughs> I think. Oh, that would be interesting to stream once, like weird Osu beatmaps. Hey, don't move, you need to rest. Oh, fucking... What did I do? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ayami, calm down. Nurse! <laughs> fucking... Nurse! Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I cannot really scream right now, since... I have also other people in my house. <laughs> and those people are sleeping. <laughs> Detective Tanaka, if you could just hold her still for a moment. Jesus, all right. I'm just like a fucking fish spazzing around. Woo! Everything's going to be fine. The nurse is going to give you something to help you sleep. Some hard fucking ketamine. Or something. <laughs> Horse tranquilizer, that's the same stuff. Oh Kazuki, where am I? I don't remember coming here. I don't know what she just said, but that sounded serious. It's alright, Ayami. We're in the hospital. I'm here for you. Now, I know how you always like getting ahead of me, but please listen to me until the end, okay? A few days ago, there was a hostage situation. Yeah, I, I said that right. In Kamakura. It ended badly. You, you, you shot that girl. Hold on. Fuck. <laughs> then, well, uh... Then the doctors say you had some kind of mental breakdown. Fucking... Let's break down, break down. Fucking... What was that? From Jojo, I think. Ah, you were awake. You tried to cross the border, right? Good. How are you feeling today, Miss Ido? You seem much calmer now. Yeah, I guess I was a bit confused after blacking out. Oh yes, according to the studies we've read, that's quite common for people who experience the kind of trauma you did. Tell me, do you feel the following symptoms? Please answer with yes or no only. Shortness of breath? Well, uh, I think we're perfectly fine. Nah, I'm breathing fine. Nausea? Nope. I feel fine. Blurred vision? No. I can see fine. Fatigue? Nah. No, I need to get back to work. 
We've given you a mild antipsychotic in light of the recent episode. It is our duty to make sure you are mentally and physically fit for duty, you understand? Fine. Yes. Good, let me explain your medicine to you. Hard drugs. <laughs> We've conducted a series of tests since the incident in Kamakura. We found no evidence or history of neurological damage, schizophrenia, or bipolar disorder. I'm writing up the episode as a stress-induced breakdown. Oh, man. So you see, stress is bad for you. <clears throat> for your safety and the safety of others, however, we strongly recommend that you take these pills daily for a period of several months. Take a look at your chart, Ms. Ido. To help you keep track of the well-being of workers in the public sector, we developed the SPIN system to monitor various aspects of your well-being. Well, we are doing very well. We're shaking. <laughs> Look at her face. Fucking twitching with a right eye. Uh, <laughs> we're still professional. Stress is fucking crazy. Sanity professional. Yeah, that's... Yep. We'll be monitoring your... Monitoring your spin attributes closely in subsequent checkups, and I'd suggest you do the same. With Brassic Square. <laughs> in light of recent events, let's first consider your sanity, your ability to accurately, accurately perceive the world around you. Without taking your daily medication, given your condition, incidents like you recently experienced are more likely to occur again. For now, I strongly suggest you take your medication. Since your first dose is due today, please take it now. Here. Oh, fucking. BAM! Unfortunately, as you might have noticed, there are some side effects. Though, taking antipsychotic medication will decrease the chances of any future psychotic episodes. They may make you a bit drowsy and unfocused. As a detective, this is of course may lower your investigative abilities and your aptitude for seeing the details while on the case. Being sharp. Drinking a lot of coffee. <laughs> However, your partner mentioned you may have experienced hallucinations at the time of your breakdown, so taking your medita medi meditation medication is imperative to keeping your mind clear of these visions. Going cuckoo crazy! We don't need to be like Reyna, so let's kind of keep that in check then. <laughs> I should warn you, however, that if for whatever reason you're unable to take your medication and your sanity as measured by spin gets very low, you might suffer from a total psychotic breakdown. Yo, that is very gangsta. <laughs> Jesus. Mm-mm. As I'm sure I need to tell you, for someone in your position that would cause both the department and your family a considerable amount of embarrassment. So, wouldn't it be embarrassing for me as well, because I'm going like monkey? Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. So please remember to take your medication. <laughs> Fine. In order to avoid missed doses and develop a routine, hey. Me when media macht. What do you <laughs> What? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh you got <laughs> you got an ad. <laughs> nice dude. We recommend you keep your pills in a familiar place like your apartment so you can take them every time you come home. Thanks for joining in by the way. You should also be careful of neurotic actions, endlessly talking to people, pacing back and forth, traveling around aimlessly and the like. Sh studies show that neurosis can act as a multiplier that exponentially speeds up a patient's loss of sanity. Given your current condition, that could be dangerous. <clears throat> Party time! <laughs> Fucking emos, bro. Detective Tanaka tells me you have a pet. Perhaps spending some time with the animal, relaxing and getting a good night's sleep would help reduce the levels of neurosis we can see we see on your chart. These stress relieving actions have no negative side effects in relation to your medication or condition. I'll leave it to your superiors to discuss professionalisms with you. But 
it has a measurable effect on the spin chart. Alright, then uh, I understand. That was a whole lot of speaking as a nurse, and I'm not a nurse. I'm not a detective either, but that would suit me better. <laughs> I need to get out of here. They've got me taking enough sedatives to knock out a damned elephant. Yo, you're tripping balls now, aren't you? <laughs> Did they tell you when they'll let me out? I missed you. Besides, I'm going nux, 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 nux. Yes, I'm going nuts lying around here all day, and my speaking abilities are getting fucking shit by these sedatives, man. <laughs> Funny you should say that, Ayami, as, f as I think the going crazy thing is what they're worried about, too. That's not funny. Sorry, sorry. But in life, you can either laugh or cry. That is a good quote to remember. And if you ask me, it's better to laugh. It shouldn't be much longer now. The doctor says he wants to observe you a little longer, that's all. How are you feeling? Better. But I don't remember what happened very well. The whole thing is kind of hazy. I remember that I was feeling strange, like there was someone else there with me, and and that mask, it... Oh, fuck. Uh, I have to stop you now, and then what not. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I fucked up. <laughs> now, one piece of feedback that I would have for the devs is to have a chat log that you can, like, uh, like in Persona, and other, like, visual novel-esque games that you can, like, Scroll back what people said. Where is it now? That's not important. Well, fuck, fuck, fuck. You made a mistake. No, that's not fair. Given the situation, I don't blame you. Even in the report, you can barely call it a mistake. A highly unstable suspect had a knife through a girl's throat, and you took the shot. No matter what other people say, I'm standing by you both now and at the hearing. I don't know what you saw, but I know you had a reason for what you did. People at HQ are already starting to take your side, but please, no more talk about that mask. It'll only hurt your case and keep you in this hospital longer. Trust me, nobody wants that. Least of all me. Not to mention, Yukimura had a hell of a time stopping the brass from suspending you. So help him out a bit, will ya? Oh, fucking... Everything is your fault, dumbass! Whatever you think you saw that day wasn't supernatural. Besides, thinking about it isn't going to help you get better, so no more worrying about it, okay? You're right. It was a confusing situation and I guess my mind was grasping at straws trying to come to terms with it. You know, Kazuki, I think I need a break from all this. From being at the from being a cough. Cough? Cough. <coughs> Rona. A cop. I didn't sign up to hurt to kill people. I know, we'll talk about it later. For now, you should get some rest. There's nothing to worry about. Everything's going to be okay. I promise. And now we're gonna be like Eminem. Snap back to reality! Let's see uh, how it goes. I think very bad. Mm -mm. Let's take a look, say. Bloop. Oh, nice, nice. You bled a lot, didn't you? When? Well done, dude. Now, uh, my plan for now is to uh, play this like uh, another half an hour. Then this stream is over. And then I'm gonna start up GT Sport and restart the stream, since I kinda have issues with switching games. If I want to switch a game, it doesn't really go effort effortlessly, and the stream stops. So I'll have to restart another stream. If you, you know, yeah. I wanna um, do some GT Sport do the upcoming daily sea race and then stream some daily sea uh, tomorrow that's the plan for the, tonight and tomorrow at least all right what's up hey little one 
Look at you sleeping there. Not a care in the world. At least you're alright. I don't know what I'd do if both you and Kazuki... Nah, I can think like that. There's more to this. And too many unanswered questions. We're a detective now, aren't we? Let's get... I'll get to the bottom of it! Exactly. Manage to salvage a normal life out of this somehow. Don't worry, little one. Alright. Our sanity is fucking... Yeah, it, mm -hmm. it took a... It took a... I took a dump. The pills the doctor gave me are right on the table where Kazuki left them. Caught on him to pester me about my health even when I'm, when he's gone. We're gonna take a lot of pills. <laughs> I hate these pills, but I'll keep taking them for your sake. I'm gonna try and keep it uh, like zero or above. See if that works. Bloop. Mm -hmm. The doctor said if I keep taking my medication, things will get better. Oh, only one? Jeez, come on! Doesn't matter how many of these stupid things I take, the world doesn't make any more sense. I guess we'll just, uh... Keep taking them a little bit. Visions, hallucinations, they told me they would stop, but they're still there. I can't concentrate. Come on! You can- Yay! Yo! <laughs> My investigation abilities went down only by minus one? This is good! What am I doing? None of it matters. Nothing changes. Well, your sanity is going up. I need to watch out with this because I think antipsychotics take- uh, Overdoses are a thing. <laughs> For a long time, I took my meds for Kazuki's sake, but he's gone and it was my fault. I let him die. Then... Don't... It'll be fine, just take another pill. We're so close to having a life together, so close to being happy. My pain, my joy. I wanted to share it all with you, Kazuki, but I let you down. I failed you. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how far I can take this, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> Nothing's getting better. Nothing's going to change. I wake up and I don't know what's real anymore. I failed. Now, this sounds like you're gonna commit suicide. <laughs> I'm gonna stop you right there, Ayami. <laughs> I can't lose control again. I can't. I don't want to hurt anyone else. I'm afraid of going crazy. I want it to stop. I want my life back. <clears throat> Come on, I want my sanity to go up by 10 again, and then that investigation going down by only 1. But we're it's all, all good. Were we ever happy? Or was that an illusion too? I just want to forget about it all. Feeling drowsy. Alright. If we're feeling drowsy... Yeah, okay, she's feeling a bit fucked. <laughs> so let's not take more pills. <laughs> we did just enough. <laughs> we searched up the limit like adolescent kids do in class. <laughs> An article from two weeks ago. Everything is laid out so neat and factual and it makes it seem so simple. It's like that all happened to someone else, like the Edo on the page is a different person from some other world, yet it's not. That's what happened to me, or so they say. The article barely mentions the girl, the bloody back, or the red paint. How can I write this stuff like it's true? The press will simplify any story to sell papers, just like Kazuki always said. Other things about that night don't add up either. After backup finally did arrive, they couldn't find any trace of the girl. Fingerprints on the red paint were inconclusive and the knife at the scene was clean too. That's what they told me, but there's no way that can be true. What really happened down there? I'm gonna get to the bottom of it, literally. The sewer. Just that's kind of the bottom-ish. <clears throat> let's not take another pill. I don't know if it resets so quickly, so let's not do that. I've been avoid. I've been avoiding spending too much time in this room lately. Memories of that night always come back. 
come floating back when I, whenever I do. Sometimes I think I can hear his voice just beyond the door, and that when I open it, I'll see him there, and I can and find these last few weeks just to be a bad dream. But it's no dream. He's gone. I don't know what hurts more, the fact that he's gone or the way it happened, taken by a girl who shouldn't exist. Reina, that was her name. I remembered a few days after the sewer, but kept it to myself. I was stumbling a little bit there, Jesus. Alright. At the debriefing, they had, talk had me talk to a station psychiatrist, and one look from her was enough to figure out what everyone else must be thinking. The police reports, the press, no one's mentioning the girl. But I saw what I saw. If she came back, then maybe... If I could only get some time to collect my thoughts and investigate the scene myself, I'm sure I could find something to prove she was there. I doubt they'll let me anywhere near it, though. At least for now. Well, then, uh, fucking do it by force. I don't know. One way or another, I'll find the truth. Well said. <clears throat> Fucking go ham on it. Boom, bam. Boom, boom. I gotta say, the music and the ambient sound on the background is good. Yo! Hey, I brought you some dinner. Thank you, Yubi. You didn't have to do that. You need to eat something, neighbor. Can't just sit around here all day, right? I know that, it's just... It's alright, you don't have to thank me. I just, uh, uh... I'm no good with all this stuff. But Ayami, I'm... I'm really sorry. About Kazuki, I mean. I know he meant a lot to you, and I didn't know him very well, but... Well, then fucking stop. Just stop, you don't... I'm, I'm sorry, Yumi. I didn't mean it. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I'm not really in the best mindset to talk about this right now. Yeah, I'm fucking taking an antipsychotics. It doesn't really help now, does it, huh? <laughs> fucking hell. I'm not ready for people's sympathy. Not yet. Ooh. Quakey, quakey. That was a big one, huh? Mm. I, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. No, we're not best friends or anything. I was just worried is all. Sorry, Yumi. That's my phone. Work again? <laughs> it's like the normal when we're talking. Yeah, maybe. I have to take this. And Yumi? Thanks for the food. Anytime. Hey. What's up? Ito in the building. Ito, I'm sorry I didn't call sooner. I, uh... Need you to come to the station. As soon as you can. What's this about? Oh, fucking... It'd be easier if I talked in person. See you soon. We're gonna get fired! <laughs> hey! That would be fucked up. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Oh, hey, you know, didn't, didn't think we'd see you back so soon. Konnichiwa. Well, ready or not, I'm here. I, uh, about what happened. It's alright, Saki, you don't need to say anything. It's just so awful, and I know you two were close, I mean, I heard. Yeah, we were. Yeah, we were, but seriously, you can leave it alone. I'm fine. If you say so, but I'm glad you're being so positive. No matter what people say, I know you cared about him and did everything you could do could to save him. Jesus. Saki, uh, you talk a bit quick, girl. Jesus. <laughs> Thanks, Saki. Wait, what exactly are people saying? Hmm, I guess it's only fair to give you a heads up. Since we're friends, there have uh, been some rumors about what happened to Tanaka. Rumors? What kind of rumors? Well, that's... Oh, uh, maybe I shouldn't. I don't want to upset you. Not with it, Saki. We both know that you can't keep something like this to yourself for long, so you might as well tell me now. Well, fine. But you didn't hear it from me, okay? On account of all the bad press surrounding Tanaka, the higher-ups are looking for someone to pin this all on. Someone close to the case, if you know what I mean. We're really gonna get fired! Let's go! Yeah, I think I understand it just fine. Somebody needs to be held responsible for this. And it's gotta be the person that's innocent. Shit. Officer Bondo told me earlier that Tyra was boasting about some promotion, and then I just saw some movers going into your office on the CCTV earlier. I just... It doesn't look good, is all. Tyra? 
That guy needs a swift punch to the back of the head sooner than he needs promotion. And my and movers in my office? Yo, you got an office? That's gangster. This is too much. What are we, in a fucking episode of The Office? See? I told you you'd be upset. It's not all definite, though. All I know for sure is what I've seen on the monitors and what Bando's told me. Hold on a sec. Who is Officer Bando? Bando lit. Oh, fuck. Dutch. D stupid Dutch song. That's not some allies you came up with, was it? I only tried that with you one time, and you figured it out right away. Bando tra transferred here from Osaka a few weeks ago, and he's a total sweetheart. Sometimes he comes and talks to me at the front desk when he's free. Because he doesn't know what else to do, I guess. Huh. Did he say something else about Tyra's myster mysterious promotion? Mm, not that I remember. All I know is he's been on the fourth floor doing some legwork for a detective late detectives lately and overheard it. If I run by my office, maybe I'll see this officer Bando and ask him myself. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, that reminds me. If you see him... Could you give him this? Hmm. That is sussy. What is it? I don't think the frog drawing follows standard police procedure. Do, do you like it? It's cute, right? What? See, I'm trusting you with this because it's more of a private thing. You give it to him, though, right? Fine. Thanks, Ayami. You're the best. I'm unprofessional as shit. Guess you'd better head up to Yukimura's office soon, huh? Huh, so you knew about that too, huh? Thanks for keeping me up to date, Saki. No. No, son. Let's go. We need to go to the boss. Yo, boss man. Of course the boss is all the way up on top, huh? What's up? It is the fat man. Mm -mm. Sorry to have to call you in like this, Ito. I know we promised you some time off after this whole rotten situation. You called me in the day afterwards? You fucking crazy, bro! Man, let me get let me get a quick swig of my drink. Mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I meant to talk to you earlier, but with everything going on, well, you know how it is. It's been a media circus for the last two weeks. Damn reporters were waiting for any excuse they could to go for a throat. And they found it. Then the deputy chief starts calling me. Then the chief. Hell, I got a call from the mayor last night. All of them want this case solved and out of mind. Cool. We're fucked. <laughs> we are definitely fucked. Huh. If I see... If he was here to see it, Tanaka would be furious about all the bureaucracy. Jesus, can even count the number of times he yelled at me after similar speeches I made to him. He was a good man. Yes, sir, he was. Let's cut to the chase. With every paper and news station covering your case, the mayor's demanding a formal inquiry into your conduct. Now, before you say anything, I'm not saying I would have done better in your shoes. The whole thing was rotten if you ask me. Oh, so I did it wrong. Unfortunately, there are no do-overs in police work. And even choices that seem right at the time can turn around and bite us later on. It's nothing better than being a criminal, to be fair, in the way that it sound he's making it sound. It's not only you. Not it's not only you. I made a mistake that night by sending you in alone. I'll pay for that too. Alright. Fucking amazing. Keep an eye out on your professionalism by using the spin system from time to time. Don't give those vultures, uh, vultures, vultures, anything to pick at. Shitty words, shitty fucking tones that I have to poop out like that. <laughs> it's not just about inquiry, though. I'm concerned about you. The choices you make, professional or otherwise, have far-reaching effects in the future. The people who will work with you and trust you, and the options you'll have to you'll have available to you all hinge on your ability to keep a professional face. Huh. <laughs> One more thing, given these circumstances, we think it's, it is better to transfer you out of the violent crown department for the time being. Ah, less payment, ooh, ooh. transfer, but sir, I don't understand. 
I, I've already done twice the amount of work as some of the other of the veterans, and I've only been in the unit for a few years. Surely my record should speak for itself. Well, I mean, let's at least talk about it first. This is a negotiation, detective. Think of it as think of it as a chance to get a fresh start. A fresh start in a career. The uphill struggle again. Fuck you, man. For the next month, you'll continue to be on leave. Fully paid, of course. Oh. I? I? I'll need to take your badge until you return the gun. You can turn in downstairs. When you come come back, you'll be helping out with some of the vice and insurance fraud cases. Mm. No man. Since another detective will be moving into your place, we'll need to clear out your office. I've asked the movers to come in today and give you a hand. Do I make myself clear, Edo? Um, I think this one was sarcastic, uh, understanding, but there's more to this. Well, there is more to this. <laughs> Jesus. Sir, I know you think I screwed this up, but there's more going on. I need a bit more time to make a case, that's all. That was a desperate plea for help. <laughs> that's enough, detective. Until the internal hearing about your case is complete, there'll be no further discussion of this. Oh, I cannot use... Listen. <laughs> Square. Now, please go to your office and pack away any personal items to be shipped home. The rest stays with us and Ido, take care of yourself. I. You got it. A little bit stressed. Oh, gangster. Time to go down to four. Alright. My throat feels like it's dying of Ebola. So let's see what this cop station thing is and then I'll wrap it up. Hey, Ido, hold up. <laughs> sure, cockback. I heard you a lot of fucking bullshit about you. <laughs> I heard you were back in the station. Real shame about Tanaka. He was one great detective. You're right. He was the best. Almost hard to believe he'd let himself get caught the way he did. I mean, it's weird, right? Outsider's perspective. Let's go. He goes missing and can't manage to contact anyone even once. I thought he would have tried to get in touch with you at least. Since you were his partner and all. Because phones, his phone got taken away. Isn't that obvious? He fucking has that. Anyway, you, you shouldn't blame yourself, Ido. It was dumb to send you down there alone with no backup. Let's face it, there's no way you could have handled that on your own. Implying something, you you would have done better. Threaten violence. Hmm, I don't want to threaten him. Maybe I kind of want to. I really want to. You would have done better. Let's do that. You're right, Tyra. Yukimura should have sent you, the man who hasn't solved a single one of the murders on his desk this year. Would have turned out much better. Hey, those were just unlucky cases is all. No witnesses. If Yukimura had sent me, I would have kept my cool, I can tell you that. But I fucking... <sighs> Go fuck yourself. Alright, so this game is pretty funny when it comes to jump scares. Because there's horror in the tag. What a morning. I'm exhausted. First the bosses dumped me out of violent crime, and then they sent movers ahead of me, so everyone in the situation knows about my demotion before I do. What a mess. As if I wasn't going through enough already, at least with my public shaming, I doubt anyone will have the courage to bother me in here. What a relaxation, I don't want your thoughts. Gives me a chance to regroup and plan my next move. Bonk. <laughs> oh man, first time me playing this, I've almost fucking shot up myself. <laughs> Every time I was playing this like at unreasonable times, 2 a.m. and shit, and that was not a good combo. <laughs> that was not a good combo. All right, we don't want to pack boxes real quick. That cat. Let's look. Mhm. Mm 
a new email is in my inbox from Yukimura. It looks like it's gone out to all the detectives. Let's see, Detective Ito has been under a lot of pressure. The tragic loss of Tanaka has affected us all. I think I see where this is leading. There it is. Ito will be temporarily reassigned, so he did make it public. How are you humili humiliating? Jesus. Humiliating. Real nice of him to wait until I was out of his office before he hit send. Hmm. <laughs> After all this time, one, why doesn't he believe me? Oh. Kazuki gave me the silver helper and he Jeez, I cannot speak. Okay, my throat, I think it needs to calm down. <laughs> Gave me the silver hairpin for my um, birthday last year. Seems so long ago. Oh, stop! <laughs> I don't want to think about that anymore. I've seen and I've been in this office for years now, quietly working my way into the boys' club to be respected as a detective. Look at it now. All that hard work shoved into some boxes to be handed off to whoever brown knows their way into promotion, no doubt. Eating booty cheeks! Can't help but feel like my hard work wasn't worth anything all these years if it can't be so easily packed away and forgotten. Arena, fuck off. Yukimura doesn't believe me, I'm the laughing stock of the station, and I'm being moved out of the office to top it off. Doesn't get much worse than this, but it's Yukimura that stinks the most. I thought I could trust him, yeah, that's fuck. That's bullshit. But instead he tells me to turn in my gun like I'm some sort of criminal. Sitting around here isn't going to change anything. If they won't investigate, I will. First things first. I need to get my hands on that mask. Reina mentioned it over and over and it's the only clue I have to go on. Hey. Yeah, that, that, that thing. That mask. <laughs> Forensics gave the mask a once over and stuffed it down in the basement. I should go down and scope it out. Let's scoop the whoop de it out. A new person. Officer Bando, the recent transfer from Osaka. It seems that Saki from the front desk is quite swidden, smitten with the guy. Quentin, Switten. Hi! You must be the new transfer from Osaka. I'm a I'm Detective Ito. What's up? That's right. Transfer me transferred me in last week. How are you doing, Detective? Please call me Bando. <laughs> y'all, yeah, I fucking knew it. Y'all have a, y'all have got a big station here. Embarrassed to say, but never could find my way around to Tokyo Branch all that well. I got myself lost out of time, to tell you the truth. So you must be the one that'll, that, that's all over the news. Don't worry, never could trust the press. None of them know a damn thing about police work, if you're asking me. And it sounds like you got a rough one. Sorry about your partner. Fucking the Wild West. <laughs> The Wild West of Japan. <laughs> Thanks. Rough is an understatement. Oh, hold on. Ishibashi at the front desk wanted me to give you this. Oh, uh, Saki did? Well, add it over then and let's have a look. Oh, well, uh... I didn't reckon she sent me something like this. That's just because you don't know her like we do, Officer Bando. Yeah, well, do me a favor, would ya? I know... I know I'm not exactly professional, but tell her to meet me on the roof in about 20 minutes. I'd do it myself, but I'm too busy. You're too busy doing leg work, huh? Fine. Alright, alright. Not a word of this to any of the other detectives. Got it? You got it, Edo. You're alright. I'll crack this workout and then get upstairs when I can. I owe you one. My man's getting pussy. Alright. Well done. GG's, Bando. GG's. All right, let's uh, pull a heist, I guess. Hey yo, let's go. All right, so let's take a look. The gate to the evidence room is locked. Mori has the key, but in desperate times, I've seen Kazuki pick the lock to get in. Fucking lock picking? Fallout? Ask to enter. Unlock the door, will you, Mori? I need to have a look through some old evidence. Uh, I can't. I got a memo from upstairs that said you can't have access to the locker until you return from leave, bro. If the bosses found out I'll let you in, my hat will roll in the flash and I could kiss my chance to become a detective goodbye. Sorry, Edo. Can't do it. Meh, fuck you. Okay. Hold on.
A security camera watches the entrance to the locker 24-7. Well, I got a little plan on that one. <clears throat> okay, let's go to my office and grab my lockpick. Let's pull a quick heist on him. So normally I would pull this one, I'll alarm for fires, earthquakes and other emergencies. But not yet. Let me try and not fuck up everybody's work. A nice hairpin. Why are you not wearing it, Ido? Come on, you got it. From your boy. From your bob, bobby boy. Buddy boy, fucking booty thingy. That don't make sense. <laughs> Alright, Ishibashi. Girl. Nah. <laughs> you gotta go up. Bondo's on the roof. I passed on that ladder he gave me. You did? Way to go, Ayami. What did he say? Was it too much? Wait, you didn't read it, did you? Oh god, you read it. Please forget everything you saw. Slow down, girl! I didn't read it. He asked me to tell you to meet him on the roof as soon as possible. On the roof? That's romantic, right? It's like I'm in a TV drama. Whatever. Oh, dang it. If I leave my post and something happens to those cameras, you Yukimura will go nuclear. Hmm, decisions, decisions. I've got it. You're not on duty now, right? Watch the front desk for me. I won't be long. Ten minutes tops. Please, please, please. Sure. That's my girl. I know I could count on you to not stand in the way of true love. No. I'll be right back. <clears throat> With Saki gone, I could disable the recording systems and move around the station without being seen. But not without getting her in trouble with Yukimura. Well. Turn that shit off. I know this will hurt, this will hurt you, Saki, but I need that mask. And I can't have anyone seeing me. Let's go down. Doo -doo 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 Boom. Yo, bro. You got. I got it. Oh. I can't exactly break in with Mori still watching me. Well, let's let's do it. <laughs> Took my boy out. <laughs> the evidence was locked away and there was no other option. I didn't take any pleasure in it. And then he was out. And he was out before he hit the ground. I respected Mori, but at that moment he was in my way. Oh, I, of course. I, I didn't have to pick the lock. Oh. I'm very professional. Let me repeat that again. Super professional. As I held the mask in my hands again, I immediately questioned why I gone through such great lengths to get it back. A small piece of evidence wasn't worth the risk. It wasn't the answer to my problems. As strange as it sounds, I'd hoped the mask would react in the same way it did when I touched it in the Kamakura. At least that would have justified what I'd done and proved the sensation I'd felt that day wasn't in my head. The mask I held in the evidence room was nothing more than rough old wood. No voices or visions, only an eerie quiet left in the wake of anticipation. Of course I held on to it. The case was only getting started, and Reina's obsession with it couldn't be an accident. It still had a part to play. Clever girl. Ugh, alright. Um, you're going to the train back to Shinjuku, and I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna switch over to GT Sport now. Um, the stream will go down. I'll have to restart it. Uh, I hope I've piqued your interest in this game because this was this is a very nice uh, point-and-click game. I really enjoyed it the first time I played this. But um, with that being said, I'll uh, shut down the stream. I'll start up a new one for GT Sport, and I'll uh, first upload. Try and upload the. Um, this stream to YouTube for people that missed it. Alright, without fur any further ado, I'll see you guys in a minute.